turn up to this one potterton system boiler firing all the time it's an s-plan plus system so we're going to whip out the breakdown bible s-plan fault finding flow chart boiler constantly firing is the boiler constantly firing yeah we know it is check to make sure the room stats and the cylinder stats off i did check the hot water program is off also just forgot to film it is the boiler still firing up yeah it is even with everything off so we're going to head over to the wiring center and we're going to see if there's 240 on brown where's brown is that brown is that peach color yeah nothing okay so now we're going to check for 240 on orange So now we're going to carefully remove orange from the terminal. And then pull it out and then do uh, to that cable with it out. Nothing. Nothing. That's fine. Put it back together. So we're going to start from the beginning and retest from the other valve. We're going to check for 240 on brown on the other one. Nothing. Then we're going to check for orange on the other heating valve. Purest orange. 240. So now we're going to remove that from the terminal block. And we're going to be careful because it could be live. You can turn the power off and do a dead test with continuity between grey and orange. Also, if you're not comfortable taking a live cable out. Because this isn't the safest way of doing it. So there's two heating zones and one hot water zone, so we're going to go and check the hot water now. Nothing on brown. We know there's going to be 240 on orange, so I'm just going to skip and pull it out the terminal. So this is proving the hot water zone valve's faulty, so we're going to replace the zone valve. It's electrically faulty, so we only need to change the head. Carry these as van stock. So we're going to whip the head off. I'm going to check to make sure the spindle's free. Doesn't look great, but it operates fine. I throw that in the bin. Get the new one on. Now get it connected up. This is a very busy 10 way because they've got solar connected as well. But the easiest way to do it if you're not confident is cut the cable and just replace one at a time. Right, with that connected on, I'm going to turn the power back on and go and check to see if the boiler's firing. Which it's not, so that's a good sign. Now I'm going to call for a hot water demand. We're getting 240 on brown. We're getting 240 on orange. We're going to go back to the boiler and check to make sure it's cooling. Boiler's firing only on demand. Happy days.